Passport into the Past, Chippewa City. St. Francis Xavier Church, or Chippewa Church, was built in 1895. Frank Wishkop, an Ojibwe carpenter, built the church with hand-hewn, dovetailed timber. This is the original altar. The church has been restored and is now on the National Register of Historic Places. Between 1883 and 1898, over 100 families lived in Chippewa City. By 1936, only a few families remained. Today, there are no original residents in what was once a thriving community. This is the John Bergeris family. Members of the Longbody or Kanoshawa, Kadunz, and Hohenstein families lived in Chippewa City. Anne and Maggie Hohenstein lived there in the late 1800s. Elizabeth and Bill Drulard lived in Chippewa City in the 1930s. George Morrison, a famous artist, was born in Chippewa City in 1919. Morrison's work was inspired by Lake Superior. George Morrison died in Grand Marais in 2000. Chippewa City Cemetery was used by Catholic and traditional Anishinaabe people. For years, the cemetery was a tangle of brush. Many grave markers disappeared. This is the old side of Chippewa City Cemetery as it looks today. Visit historic Chippewa Church and ring the 225-pound bell. <laughs>